Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using switch statements in C++. Now, a switch statement is basically a special type of if statement, which allows us to check one particular value against a bunch of other values. So this is a very special use case um, when we're trying to compare different things. So I'm going to talk to you guys about what switch statements are, and we'll do an example, which will kind of illustrate what they're doing. So in my program, in this tutorial, I actually want to create a little function which is going to be able to convert a number into the day of a week. So basically, if the user passed in a zero to this function, I'd want to be able to print out like Sunday. Or if the user passed in a one, I'd want to be able to print out Monday, etc. So I want the function to be able to convert an integer number to a day of the week, just like that. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do this inside of our C++ program. So I'm going to create my function and we're basically just going to have it return a string and I'm just going to call it get day of week, just like that. And I'm going to make an open and close parentheses. And this is going to take one parameter, which is going to be an integer and we'll just call it day num. So this is going to be the number of the day of the week. So like zero through six, basically. All right, so inside of our little function now, we need to figure out how we can do this. So depending on the day of the week, in other words, depending on the day num that they give us, we want to be able to return a different value. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to create a variable and it's just going to be a string and I'm just going to call it day name. So this will be like, this will end up storing the name of the day that they requested. And then down here at the end of this function, we're going to return it. So I'm just going to say return day name. So now we know what we're going to end up returning. So our goal inside of this function now is to populate this day name variable with the correct day of the week. So let's think about this. I mean, one way that we could build this function is by using an if statement. So I could say like if day num is equal to zero, and if day num is equal to zero, then I can say day name is equal to Sunday, right? That works. And then I can just keep doing this for every day of the week. So I can say like else if, and again, I have to check to see if day num is equal to something else. So day num is equal to one. And then down here, we'll do the same exact thing. So we can say day name is equal to Monday, right? I can keep doing this for every single day of the week. Here's the problem though. I'm gonna have to do this like seven times, right? Potentially eight times if we wanna check for an invalid input. So I'm gonna have to create eight of these different if else structures in order to figure this out. And that is extremely inefficient. And actually, this is a perfect circumstance for us to use something called a switch statement. Now a switch statement essentially takes what we're doing over here with these if else statements and it makes it a lot easier. So. One thing I want you guys to notice is in every single one of these conditions, in other words, in every single one of these uh, if conditions, we're checking to see if the same value, day num, is equal to a different value. So in here, we're saying day num is equal to zero. Here, we're saying day num equal to one. In the next one, it would be day num equal to two, then day num equal to three. All of those conditions are checking to see if day num is equal to something else. And when you have a situation like that, it's a perfect candidate for a switch statement. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can use a switch statement to make this a lot easier. So I'm just gonna write out switch in open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. So, so far it looks a lot like an if statement. Up here in these open and close parentheses, I'm gonna put in a value. And we're basically gonna put the value in here that we wanna to compare to all those different values. So in my case, it's gonna be day num, right? I'm comparing day num to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, right? day num is the value that I want to compare to all the different values. Now inside of this switch statement, I can write cases and basically I can say case and then I can just put a value in here. So I could say zero and a colon. And then down here, I can basically type out what I want to happen. So I could say day name is equal to Sunday. Now, essentially what this is doing is it's saying in the case that day num is equal to zero, we want to set day name equal to Sunday. And then right below here, I'm just going to say break. And I'll explain what break does in a second. But I can basically make one of these cases for every single number. So I could say like case one. So in the case that day num is equal to one, 
I'm gonna set day name equal to Monday. And then again, I'm just gonna say break. And then I can keep doing this for two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, right? So what this break is doing down here, this break statement is essentially breaking us out of the switch statement. So if I don't put this break statement here, C++ is actually just gonna keep looking through all these cases. So even if day num is equal to zero and it sets it equal to Sunday, it's still gonna keep going and checking all these different values unless I say break right here. And generally it's a good idea to say break unless you wanna be able to check for more than one uh, condition. We're basically saying in the case that day num is equal to zero, we're gonna do all the code down here. And I'm actually gonna make one of these for each day of the week. So I'm gonna go off and do that and then we'll meet back here and I'll kind of show you guys what I have. All right, so I went ahead and made one of these little case blocks for every day of the week. So you, you can see down here we have zero through six and they're all corresponding with the appropriate days. So like case three, uh, day name is Wednesday, et cetera, right? So everything seems to be working. Now, there's one more thing that we have to do in this switch statement. So down here, there's always the chance that the user enters in an invalid day of the week. So in other words, if the user doesn't enter zero through six, then we wanna be able to handle that. In other words, I wanna be able to handle the situation where the number that they entered isn't in here. And inside of a switch statement, we have a special little block which is called default. So we can just say default, a colon, and then down here, this code is gonna get executed if none of the cases up here are true. So if the number isn't equal to any of these numbers up here, then this code inside the default block will get executed. So down here I could just say day name is equal to invalid day number. All right, so now we have our switch statement set up and you can see how this is a lot cleaner than something like an if statement. So this is a lot clearer what's going on. We don't have to type out else if like a thousand times. We don't need all those parentheses and all that stuff. Basically it's just really clear. It's really easy to visualize what's going on. All right, so let's see if our get day of the week function is working. I'm gonna go in here and well, we're actually gonna print out the value. So I'll say C out and we'll call this. So I'll say get day of week and we need to pass this an integer. So why don't we pass it to zero and hopefully we should get printed out here Monday or Sunday, whoops, yeah. So over here, Sunday. So Sunday would be the first day of the week. Well, let's try, let's see if we can get Monday. So I'm gonna put one here instead of a zero and now we should get Monday. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's try one more. We'll try six. So six is gonna be Saturday and let's see if it works. Cool, so Saturday worked as well. All right, there's one more situation which is where we pass in an invalid number. So if I pass in like a 10 here, now we'll be able to see that this isn't gonna work. So it should tell us invalid day number, awesome. So this is a pretty cool function and it's working. And you can see how we can use these case statements in order to make this a lot easier. Now, here's the thing. I could have easily done this with an if statement. Nothing is stopping me from doing that. But it's a lot easier to use something like a switch statement, and that's why C++ included it in the language. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.